I'd like to welcome everyone to David Lubin. Whether or not you're informing a decision that you've already made or you're considering a choice in the future, welcome to our school. And if we were in person, uh, we'd be undertaking a tour and you would all probably know that we are a designated STEAM school. Um, the first in Sac City to be so designated and that's a journey that began for us as late as the 1960s where we were known for our excellent math and science instruction and it's a journey that we're still on and we'd love to uh, take you with us and educate your children as we continue that journey and to talk about what STEAM looks like uh, at our program we have a highly educated cadre of teachers uh, qualified and committed to teaching STEAM-based learning and supporting our students to be exposed to discrepant events. Just yesterday I was in a first grade classroom with uh, Japanese quail egg chicks and eggs still to hatch. So that discrepant event encouraging the students questions and curiosity around that discrepant event and then supporting them to develop a hypothesis as to what they think will happen and then testing that hypothesis and the students changing their thinking based on evidence not based on the textbook or an adult telling them to change their thinking but based on on what they see and what they learn so uh, we know so many people work in industries that maybe didn't exist when they were in elementary school and Let's talk about your children. Your children will live to see the 22nd century almost certainly. And uh, we know that the world will change and we also know that the only thing we can predict is that it will change quickly. So what puts certain people in a position to take advantage of what's next? And more importantly, what can we do at David Lubin to make sure that our children, your children, are in a position to take advantage of, of that next industry uh, when it arrives. Well, we think STEAM-based learning is a big part of that answer, and that's uh, the basis of our approach to learning. And that's captured also in our logo. You'll see the logo on my mask that I've been adjusting, and uh, that student is all of your children. That student is black, that student is brown, that student is white, that student is a deaf and hard of hearing student, that student is a student with autism, that student lives in Elmhurst, East Sac and Oak Park, that student is all of our children. And like the child in the logo, we exist to support and elevate your child to be able to reach their goals, to touch their star. And that's why we're here at David Lubin. And we'd love an opportunity to serve your family. So please let us know if we can answer any of your questions. And once again, Welcome to our school. It was actually an easy choice for us to come to David Lubin. Um, and we made it because we walked in the doors and you could feel the sense of community, the spirit that everybody had here. It was so welcoming. Um, and there's so much diversity within the school. You feel like you're, you're truly representative of Sacramento and, and California. And uh, it's just such a good environment for, for our, our daughter and our son now uh, to be a part of and, and to be part of the greater community. Um, we have neighbors that, that go here uh, and it's just such a great great place uh, for our kids to learn and make friends and make memories and for us it's, it's a special thing to be part of. What I like about part of the school is that we have art with Miss Jane and she teaches us not art, not just art, but some history with, with it. Why, hello there. My name is Miss Jane, and I'm the resident artist here at David Lubin Elementary School. And when your child joins our amazing school family, they'll be coming into this magical art room 10 to 12 times a year. We do projects that are both process-based and, of course, incredibly creative. And we can't wait to see you and have you join us. I like David Leuven because it has lots of fun areas to play in. Welcome to the David Leuven Library. My name is Mrs. Kane, and I've been here at David Leuven for 21 years. Um, we have over 
11,000 books in our collection, um, worth over $200,000. All the classes, all the grade levels and all the classes normally come in for 30 minutes a week. I normally read to kindergarten through third grade. First through third, they get to check out a book a week when they bring their permission slip back. Fourth through sixth graders get to check out two books when they bring their permission slips back. And when they bring their book back the following week, they can check out more books. I've developed a very nice library. It's multicultural. It has many, many different reading levels. Uh, I think it's a wonderful library and I, I hope someday you all get to come and see this library here at David Lubin. My favorite thing about David Lubin is how is the teachers, the staff, um, the projects we get to do in class, the activities, ACES, and it's a really great school. Hi, my name is Covina Miller and I'm the Deaf and Hard of Hearing teacher here at David Lubin for preschool and kindergarten. We also have first, second, and third grade right across from me and across from her we have fourth, fifth, and sixth. This program is very language enriched and we love interacting with our friends out on the playground. I hope that your child would like to learn some sign language and come to our school and become our friends. What I love about David Lubin is that all the teachers are really kind and I learn so much. And I'm in fourth grade with Ms. Tamblin and every Friday we do science and one, a couple Fridays we were doing a circuit board and I loved making the motor move and trying to connect the wires. David Lubin is our neighborhood school and we are so grateful that we decided to send our kids here. David Lubin has so many wonderful teachers and the staff here is wonderful as well. Our kids always had, have had wonderful teachers and the things that we were surprised about with this school compared to others is that there's a dedicated art teacher. We have a librarian and now with STEAM program here at the school, our kids are receiving so many cool programs that they wouldn't receive anywhere else.